Hello everyone, it's Slay Reviews here and I'm back with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my top 16 most anticipated movies of 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so starting off at number 16, that is The Marvels. That's right, The Marvels. I cannot wait for the, this movie, seeing Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel both share through the big screen together and have so much chemistry b b between them both. I absolutely loved Miss Marvel when that first debuted on Disney+. Plus. I had such a strong connection with the character and I just loved the character so much and also I have a very special place in my heart for Captain Marvel as well played by Brie Larson I cannot wait for these two to cross over and just team up it is going to be awesome and I cannot wait for this all right so number 15 we have Ghostbusters Firehouse that's right I'm looking at you Jamie pal right so Ghostbusters Firehouse I I, I absolutely loved Ghostbusters a, a half the life and now we are getting another Ghostbusters movie cannot wait for, wait for this one and I just have a very special place in my heart for for Ghostbusters as well because I grew up watching one and two and they just stuck with with me ever since I was a kid. But now we get to see them return. All right, so number fourteen we have Fast and Furious Ten. That's right, the tenth installment of Fast and Furious in the franchise, ending it off with number ten. And I cannot wait to see this movie. I'm a big fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. I've grown up to, to love them and appreciate them. And they have gone through quite a lot of sad moments, especially with Paul Walker passing away in, in, in Fast and Furious 7. May he rest in peace. And yeah, we are now in the year of Fast and Furious ending. And I know it's going to be... An emotional ride. Okay, so number 13, that is Shazam Fury of the Gods. That, that's right. Shazam is returning back to the, the, the big screen for DC, played by Zachary Levy again, and I cannot wait to see this movie because I absolutely loved the first Shazam movie when that first came out. I just loved like the humor, um, the chemistry, and him just pretty much trying to fit in as a superhero. And I just cannot wait to see his whole family and him just just come together again to team up against a lot of the evil villains that I know that we are going to be seeing in this movie. But yes, I cannot wait for um, Shazam. And yeah, so number 12, we also have Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. That's right, Harrison Ford returns to us again as the legendary Indiana Jones. And I cannot wait to see Harrison Ford slip that hat back on, fire that whip, and him becoming the legend that we've all come to know and buy as Indiana Jones. I cannot wait to see how this movie goes because I loved the new theme song that was played in the trailer. I cannot wait for Indiana Jones and I know that this one is definitely going to be awesome for sure. Okay, number 11, we have Blue Beetle, and that is played by Zolo, who was in Cobra Kai, best known for his role as Miguel Diaz. He is playing a Mexican boy who has an obsession over beetles, and he desires to build himself a Blue Beetle armor. And this movie, I cannot wait, wait for, because this will be his first ever for debut for Blue Beetle. And you know how, how every teenager wants to be a superhero, Blue Beetle is it. So I'm very excited to see how Zolo is going to come across being Blue Beetle for the very first time. So I cannot wait for, wait, wait for this movie. I know it's going to be awesome. Okay, so number 10, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This one is a very excited film of mine. And I just know for sure that this movie is going to be absolutely emotional because it's like... I've come to love the characters of the Guardians of the Galaxy and you just connect with them so much and I know that this one's going to be a very emotional movie knowing that we are going to be losing our beloved Guardians. I know that they're going to be killed off but I know James Gunn is going to hit it straight out of the bat and he's going to deliver on this movie. I can guarantee it. But yes, 
I cannot wait to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Okay, number nine, we have The Little Mermaid. That's right. Disney's new, highly anticipated live action, The Little Mermaid. I absolutely loved the trailer of The Little Mermaid. That movie just looks absolutely beautiful. And I give so much respect to um, the actor that is going to be portraying her. I know she got a lot of hate, which was definitely not needed or deserved. And I cannot wait to see what she has to offer of bringing the role of Ariel the Mermaid. The movie just looks absolutely visually stunning. The, the, the effects under the water and the voice. The voice of her singing is just beautiful and that's what connected with me and spoke to me and I cannot wait to see what what she has to offer in The Little Mermaid. Okay, number eight, we have, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. That's right, John Wick 4. John Wick is returning back to the big screen and he's going to be kicking so much ass. I absolutely love the John Wick trilogy. John Wick was one of those first um, franchises and trilogies, sorry, that I watched and Man, he kicks so much ass in in the John Wick films. I have never in my life seen seen a man do as much damage to people, especially killing a man with just a pencil. Yeah, pretty much. But yes, I cannot wait to see what John Wick has to offer coming back on the big screen, and I know he's definitely going to be back. That's right. Uh, number seven, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant of Mayhem. That's right. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is finally coming at us and I cannot wait to see what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has to offer seeing the legendary brothers of Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael and Michelangelo. That's right. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shout out to Jamie Powell. I absolutely love the Turtles when I grew up as a child and I even came to love the both two live action movies that we did get by Michael Bay. I, I know those weren't fan favourites by a lot of people but I absolutely have a very special place for them in my heart and, and I know for sure that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants of Mayhem is going to be absolutely awesome and it's going to be ass kicking. So I cannot wait for that. That one's going to be awesome. Okay, number six. Next, we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. That's right, yes. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I'm very excited uh, to see Winnie and Piglet pretty much just go on a killing spree, just, just killing people. Um, this, These characters have been a childhood favorite of mine ever since I was a little boy. I used to watch every single morning on BBC One, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, and now it's been turned into a horror version and I've come to growing up to love horror movies so this is straight down my alley and I know that a lot of people didn't really agree with them doing a horror version of Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey but for me I'm really excited to check this movie out okay so number five we have the Meg 2 the trench that's right the Meg is returning back to the big screen once again for just going on a path of destruction who does not want to see a giant shark go around chomping on people and also seeing the return of Jason Statham kicking the shark's ass once again. That's right. That is awesome. I'm so glad that um, the Meg 2 is happening because I was a big fan of the first one when I first saw it back in 2018 when I saw it in IMAX 3D on the opening night and I cannot forget how beautiful visually the movie looked with just a giant shark causing severe mayhem and just chomping down on people. That's right. I cannot wait to see this movie and it's got me really 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 excited for some more shark deliciousness that's right okay number four we have transformers rise of the beasts that's right transformers is once again returning back to the big screen after pretty much the um the really bad success of transformers the last night but now we are seeing a new version of transformers coming at us and i, and I can't wait i love transformers i love them all and I know a lot of people had their moments with the the previous um, Transformers films, but I absolutely love them. And I cannot wait to see what this one has to offer, because when I first saw the, saw the trailer, I was absolutely hyped. I was not expecting to see so many new Transformers just go to war, and just seeing all like the new, new versions and everything, and the designs just look awesome. But yeah, I cannot wait for, for Transformers, so Autobots, roll out. Okay, number three, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. That's right. Marvel's Phase 5 kicks off, baby, with 
a new Marvel film. That's right, Ant-Man and the Wasp are literally returning to the big screen to take on the evil Kang the Conqueror who is going to bring a lot of path of destruction in his wake in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I cannot wait to see Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer and all that return on the big screen and I know it is going to be awesome and I'm very, very excited to see what Phase 5 has, has to offer. And number two has to be Scream 6. That's right. Ghostface is returning to the big screen. He is terrorizing the subway of Manhattan. And I'm just so hyped, guys, to see Ghostface return. I was a big fan of Scream 5 when that first came out last year. And I cannot wait to see what Ghostface has to offer. Slashing people, killing people, all that type of horror deliciousness that, that we have gone to love of the character of, of Ghostface. And yes, I cannot wait to see him return once again. And yes, okay, number one. I think you guys can pretty much obviously take on what my first movie is going to be, my most anticipated one of this year, and that is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That's right, my favorite webhead is returning back to the big screen with Miles Morales going into the Spider-Verse, meeting all different variants of Spider-Man, and this movie just had me absolutely gassed, guys, when I saw the, the trailer. I was not expecting to see so many different variants of Spider-Man that I've come to grow and love and read the comic books about. And now they're finally making their way onto the big screen. Wow. Uh, uh, honestly, w what a year this is, is going to be for all of these anticipated movies, guys. I cannot wait to see all of these films. And there are so many films as well that I also do do want to check out on the sidelines that, that, that did not make it in the list. But, but yes, though this has been my top 16 most anticipated movies of 2023. I cannot wait to check every single one of one of these movies out. I will be going on the opening nights to every single one of these movies. And I cannot wait to literally sit down, watch all of these movies, and have a brilliant and, and great 2023. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up, and don't forget to press that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell to be notified when I'll, I'll upload a brand new video. And please leave me, leave me down a list on what your most top favorite anticipated movies of 2023 that you are most looking forward to. I would love to know all, all, all your guys' favorite movies that are coming out this year. But yes, I, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for watching. Happy New Year. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility. And in that saying, happy Blu-ray hunting. All the best and peace.